Tell me, what did Cindy tell you about a seizure that, that Casey had? Well, there's been a leak about that that came out in advance of the, um, uh, of the interview. And like leaks are, it's usually somebody on the periphery that knows just enough to, oh. to mislead you because it's, it's been pretty inaccurate as near as I can tell. But I'll tell you what she did say. Mm -hmm. um, what she said is, I, I told her early on, look, I want to figure out how you go from what they describe as a normal child in a normal life to someone doing what has been done here. Now, when I say doing it, the it is either that she hid her daughter's dead body in the woods or worse, that she caused it. She was acquitted of causing it, but she admitted to burying the body in the woods, which in and of itself is a horrific thing to do, right? Yes. And so my question was, how do you go from what you describe as just a normal, happy child, cheerleader, all these things, to someone that could do that? And I, I want to know wh what y'all think there. And Cindy's answer to that is, look, I think she may have a brain tumor. And I said, well, why do you think that? She said, well, because in, at one point she had a grand mal seizure. When was that? A year and a half later, she had another one. Well, she had one in 07, mm -hmm. I believe it was. Then she had one a year and a half later. Um, Wasn't <clears> she on any kind of medication for that? Well, I asked those questions, and I said, did you have her worked up? MRI, CAT scan, yeah. X-ray, blood work, you know, all the things that you would do for a differential diagnosis for causation of a seizure. Usually they're associated with some type of epileptic activity, not always, but, but sometimes. She said, yes. They found nothing. Oh. I said, no tumor. No. Well, not then. Well, what do you mean, not then? Well, maybe she didn't, they didn't find it then, but she has it now because well, she is, had another seizure. I mean, this I, is just Cindy uh, hallucinating that the girl might have had something to explain the behavior. Well, I think without she Without any kind of proof at all. I think she is desperate to reconcile within herself how her daughter could do these, these things or this thing. Because she's saying, my daughter couldn't do that. She was a loving mother. She was an attentive mother. This is so out of left field for her. Something had to make her do that. Mm -hmm. To which my retort was, I, don't, I haven't seen the medicals. I'm just, she's telling me that they did them and they didn't find anything. Yeah. Casey controls those, so of course I haven't seen them. I said, isn't it possible that this is just a really bad character flaw? That this is mm -hmm. the actions of an unconsciousable psychopath or sociopath. Right. And I'm not saying that Casey is that. I don't know. I haven't evaluated her. But don't you have to put on the list that her moral compass just went way askew and she made some really bad choices? What did she say? No.